All right, Dyslexic Genius here. I'm going to show you how to oil a Victor 300, 360, 320, or Credenza, the big four spring motors. And one of the problems we ran into in a previous video, I talked about the spindle shaft had been beaten onto it. And after assembly, I found out it was really bad. I, it was, there was a little bit of run out, which won't cause any problems. They'll just run like that. But this one was bent, and it was locking the motor up, so we had to replace the spindle shaft. Why was it bent? It was bent because they shipped it with a turntable or platter on the machine. You cannot do that, ship the turntable or platter with a machine. Well, I'm going to show you how to oil. We're going to start with sewing machine oil. I'm going to use my little Starbucks stopper, because that's always fun. And we have our sewing machine oil. So right here on this, I'm going to put a little dab at the end of the bearing right here. And it, yep, right there. We're going to put a little dab there. And then we're going to roll over, and we're going to put a little dab of oil right here on the felt. This is the speed control mechanism, and we're going to add that. Then we're going to come to the back of the machine, and we're going to do the back right here. We're just going to put a little dab of oil there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to come up with sewing machine oil, and we're going to add oil only right here where it runs on the casting, because the whole system pivots. This pivots, the springs pivot, and the spindle shaft pivot. So we put a little dab here. We run down the motor, and we put a little dab in the center casting right here, and then we flip right over and we put a little right here. And then we come over to the winding crank mechanism, and we put a little dab down right in here. Now with STP, what we're going to do is, on assembly, we have a big shaft that runs through the motor. I coated that with STP, but also, because this has a bend bend spring in it, and on these four springs, this whole piece slides into the spring barrel and connects to the spring, I coated where it goes into this bearing with STP also. And I also did the gear system that goes into this side of the motor. I also did this one here that goes in with STP. And then I did this with a wind, winding crank gear right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use, we're going to go to the hoodie grease and you're going to coat the governor right here because we have brass gear and a spiral gear so we're going to put a little hoodie grease right here after you get all this done you crank the motor up and you just run your finger on this shaft down at the bottom down here and you just keep coating it you dab your finger in green grease and you keep coating and coating and pretty soon it just starts running smoothly while the motor is running then after you've done all that this gets a little complicated but we're going to add a little bit of sewing machine oil here to keep the you don't want grease in here you want to put a little sewing machine oil right there that runs this bearing and then you rotate the motor over and you will do right here on the spindle shaft. And that's sewing machine oil. Sewing machine oil. That's all it takes to run to run the motor. So after you've done all this and you fire it up, it'll come into play like that and it's running. But you have to realize that when the motor is running and sometimes both springs will engage and start unwinding, this whole piece right here will start moving along with the spindle shaft. So that's why we have STP in here and STP in here and sewing machine oil in here. Because pretty soon both barrels will kick in and, and it will just drive around like this. And that's all it takes to oil one. And the next, all we have next is to mount it on the motor board, balance the turntable, set the RPM with the turntable on it, and then we re also replaced the window on the tachometer drive system, which is this piece here. We added a new plastic window. We have a video on how to build a new one of these, which is nice. And that's my tip for the day.